So the new episode of Kentucky Ancestors rolls out here on Great Day Live starting at 930 and Heather French Henry sticking around here in the Great Day Live studio with a preview of it. And most importantly, we made sure that you weren't wearing the same outfit that we're going to see at 930. Oh, right. That's a I big know. deal. Like my That's a really do. on like what I wear for things. I thought, oh, I hope I'm not wearing the same dress <laughs> I wore in that episode. No, 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 right no, no, no. But we're excited to see another episode. So what what can we expect to see? Well, Kentucky Ancestors is such a wonderful series mm -hmm. put on by the Kentucky Historical Foundation and the Kentucky Historical Society. And it's really great to be able to see the different venues that they're able to research and then um, areas they're able to navigate. This particular one actually deals with um, H.P. McGrath and the Kentucky Derby. So it's really awesome. This family comes in, wants to know if they're connected to H.P. McGrath. They have a couple of similarities within their backgrounds uh -huh. with names and possible relatives, but they've always heard the story that they might be connected. And again, this series really goes to help separate fact from fiction. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do Don't the spoiler give it alert. I'm not going <laughs> to give it away because you're going to see here in a few minutes. But it really dives down deep into our history and the questioning of of what's really true and what's not true. And so the Kentucky Historical Society is really there to help document that family genealogy. And so this is a really fascinating one because like 1875 was our first Kentucky Derby. H.P. Mm -hmm. McGrath had this amazing 500 acre horse farm um, called McGrathy Anna. Think about that. Like I want a horse farm in McGrath. Name. That's a fancy That's name. like that. And then of course, Oliver Lewis was the first African-American jockey who won the very first Kentucky Kentucky Derby race mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of interesting sort of intersections within this story yeah. and again it goes down to how can you find the documentation and so Kentucky Historical Society and their wonderful team mm -hmm. um, went and actually did an interview with the Kentucky Derby Museum so it's gathering all those different resources right yeah. and a lot of people you know we've talked about it before when's the last time you went to the Kentucky Historical Society and the museum in Frankfurt it's a wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. and their team there they are experts. You know, people email me and think I'm the expert. I'm like, no, no, no. I got people. They like, want, we, we they got want a team. you to check out their genealogy. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. And so they really previewed about 200 different individual stories uh -huh. to come up with five for this series. And so this season, you know, we picked five very different stories with different trajectories to mm -hmm. be able to research. And so now that I'm seeing the popularity and seeing people's interest, I'm really excited possibly for another season. Oh, absolutely. We, we hope yeah. so too. We definitely hope so here at Great Day Live. But just, I love the angle of the Kentucky Derby, pulling in the Kentucky Derby Museum, and you just think of all these different groups that are a part of this, I think is what makes these episodes like so captivating. Right, right? well they're us, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. because we all grow up about a half a degree of separation from each other, <laughs> and you think about all that folklore that you hear, mm -hmm. are we related, are we yes. not related? And so being able, again, to find that documentation is the only sure way. Mm -hmm. And of course, we still love to pass down all these stories, but you know how stories change. And so this next episode of Kentucky Ancestors is going to be definitely one for the books, one for the Derby books. One for the Derby books. That's certainly. right. And you bring up a really important point is that having the Kentucky Historical Society is a resource because I think we all get excited about researching things on our own. Or I remember right. somebody in grade school saying, we're cousins. I'm like, what? You know? <laughs> no, right. And there's so many different apps and things that you can go on now. Yeah. And so you get all these pop-ups. But sometimes all they that information that is not correct, right? Yeah. We can kind of get misinformed mm -hmm. or find the wrong. I mean, think about names back then, too. I mean, there were such similar names. Of course, in this episode, you're dealing with Irish immigrants so there's a little bit of an change interesting in the last names change too. in last names mm -hmm. but the similarities you go oh well it can't be that far from the truth so this is going to be a really fascinating episode not only for those in genealogy but those who love horse history as well next time we need a whole hour together i know right <laughs> it's like we need an hour there's so much to talk so about so much all right yeah. so we want to remind everybody to learn more about the kentucky historical society and their museum in frankfurt go to history.ky.gov